All the highlights. I sure. literally ten Please. seconds ago. <laughs> Jack, <laughs> uh, we really gonna show the highlights of this thing again. Sure, you never know where oh, folks have been tonight. Uh, they wasn't watching this thing. Well, and that's why they need to see the highlights. Oh my God, Russ. That's bully ball right here, Ernie. It actually, is no defense ball. I love the way Russ answered that question, man, about what's toughest in a triple double. Oh, that was that was interesting. Russ is really good. That was how, how, how do you give up 136 minimum in four games to the same team? That's how, that's tough, man. I mean, well, it was 132 minimum, so don't exaggerate. <laughs> Demona Sabonis there. Oh man. And at this point, hey, it's 34-34, oh. and then Washington goes on a 16 nothing run, and the game was over. You know, shoot the ball well, give them the chance to rebound and go. I, I Daniel Gafford's a pretty good-looking ball player, by the way. Is that number 21? Watch that pass, Ernie. Yes. Woo! Look at this. Mm. And then the, dom the dominating Robin Lopez. Dominating out there, Ernie. <laughs> yes. Bradley Beal? Mm. Oh. He had 25. Ooh. 45? 25. Oh. They're up 66-52 at the half. Oh, the third quarter would hold drama. Didn't it, Chuck? Man, this was a, I was, I was missing Scandal tonight, SWAT, all the shows I normally watch. 5,300 folks there watching it, and Ross getting them all pumped up. They were happy. I really. I gotta look at these points in the paint, how to go to, ooh, dog, my cats, 72 to 40 points in the paint for the ooh, Wizards. That's ridiculous. Pull up on them. Keep going under the screen, why? Kenny. No, you're not gonna go, I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm just, a, I'm not even going to say about the defensive effort. I could put the music on for the defensive effort. All right, you missed, you missed your chance oh. because I think that's the last shot of the highlight. <laughs> <laughs> that, that they were the playing. That was the generals, not the Wizards. That was the, they were playing. Indiana was, was the Washington Generals playing the Washington Wizards. <laughs> 142 to 115. Wizards shoot 58%. On the night, 142 uh, points, man. And the other, you know, the other night they only hit three threes, which was a season low. They were 14 for 28 from deep in this one, so 72 to 40 points in the paint, and uh, 16 to five in fast break points. And well, Washington just lays the wood to Indiana for the fourth time this season, and advance into the NBA playoffs for the first time since 2018. What's your take on what you've seen of Washington and how much of a threat they can be, given as well as they've played when they needed to down the stretch? They've, they're 18, you count the play-in games now, 18 and seven in their last 25. Well, I mean, they could be dangerous, but they, they don't have an answer for, for Joel Embiid, you know? Nobody does. There, there's not a, you know, be, so which, which then allows Philadelphia to run everything offensively. So you really can't stop them offensively, and you got to try to outscore them. Uh, they do have, you know, obviously Bill and Westbrook. Being smaller guards is actually really good for them. Uh, you know, Ben Simmons, I don't think can perimeter play on a perimeter on a consistent basis with either one of those guys. He said he's the best defensive player in yeah, the league. Yeah, but he's six eleven. So. Well, you can't tell that. me. Well, he's supposed to be the best guard defender in the league. I, I, he, they I, got two guys. If Ben Simmons, Ben Simmons says, I'm the best defender. I should win defensive. He said it. I didn't yeah, say it. He, he did say it. He did say it. I'm just so saying. I want him to try. He, he, I want him to grab one of those guys. Then that'll prove something to me. No, I, I, I'm going to say this. I, I was a, a decent scorer. But if a guy 6'11 was trying to guard me for a whole game, I would feel I have the advantage. Ben Simmons not. I, I, like, I got the advantage. I don't care how great it I don't care if Dennis Rodman switched out on me on the defensive. I'm like, I got him. Oh. He's too big to move his feet on a consistent basis all game. Please. For a play, for a couple of plays, but pick me up full court like he's got to do Russell Westbrook and Bill, impossible. Mm -hmm. Those two guys are too crafty, too good, too, too athletic to do that too. They have to play out of their minds. No games off, bad no, no possession, uh, high scoring games to have a chance. You know, Doc Rivers done a great job of, of keeping his guys focused. Even when Embiid has been out, guys have been focused. They're playing well. But if one of those, or one or two of those guys can go off, they have a chance. I'm not saying that they can win it, but I'm saying if they go off, they play phenomenal. They have a shot. You got that graphic on the season series, uh, Jeremy, uh, between the Wizards and the uh, and the 76ers with Philadelphia winning all three. Embiid had games of 29 and 14, 38, 8 and 5, and 23 and 7. 60% though, Ernie, that's the yeah. key. He's, he's shooting 60% from the field from them. 
So to, you know, to even to combat that with threes, you know, you have to you have to shoot four, you have to shoot 40% from three just to equal what he's doing on the two point side. Yeah, but see, if I if I'm the Wizards, I'm gonna double down beat and I'm gonna make Ben Simmons shoot the ball. I, I like. I don't understand why more teams. Ben Simmons is gonna have to shoot the ball for the Sixers to go deep in the playoffs. I, I'm not. What about Tobias Harris? Tobias Harris. No, he's a scorer. But I'm saying the one guy who won't shoot, I'm gonna force him to shoot. I'm not gonna lead Tobias Harris. Ben Simmons will not shoot. He gonna have to he shoot. Won't shoot. He just doesn't shoot threes. He, he, he shoots. He comes in the lane and shoots floaters. Yeah, and yeah, yeah but he's down. he's on the average. He's not even averaging double digit shots a game, Kenny. Okay. But I'm saying in a playoff where we get to come up with a game plan for a week, I'm going to say, hey, we're leaving this guy and we're going to make Ben Simmons shoot the ball. I mean, that, that would be my tactic. I, I he's going to have tough. to prove that to me. I think it's tough only because of this. Right? Because he's like Robert Ory sometimes, not just standing out for three. Remember when you played with Rob and you played with uh, Travis uh, Knight, Knight. Knight, Travis Knight, they throw it in, you're like, oh, we're leaving him. And they dive to the basket and dunk, and but you, you just, just drop it off, and they're gonna drive. But you just ben Simmons not staying at the three. No, you just, He's gonna dive no, to the I basket would, and Chuck, get dunked. Yeah. I, I would. Uh, it may sound kind of weird. I would let. I would throw four or five bodies in and beat. And I'm not letting Tobias get off. I'm not letting Ben get off. I'm not letting none of their shooters get off. Be like, and beat. Okay, we know you're a great player. Show us every night, and just make him play defense. Like if he's just shooting jump hooks all game, have a great game, but. Put them in multiple pick and rolls, get them in tired, try to give them a foul trail, but I don't want the others to get off. I'm going to be like Joel Embiid. Well, you want to be the MVP? Show me. Four games. Average 40. Well, I'm, saying, I'm not saying let uh, Tobias or Seth, uh, uh, Seth Curry get off. I'm saying I'm going to force Ben Simmons to shoot the ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not just going to give him layups. Because, uh, uh, like I say, that's what he wants to do. But I'm going to force that dude to shoot the ball. That would be my strategy going into the series.